further about installations that installing ram rom sound cards and graphic cards and some important ic's that is integrated circuits this is the pictureization of installation of ram you can see the ram slots are are here and the installation is in is done in the this fashion so first of all while installing any of the cards or any of the ram we need to check out these slots so as per slots it will be fixed on this ram modules so this is the pictureization of ram installation now this is again sound cards and graphic cards here you can see the ram is installed and this is the sound cards and graphic cards are also installed over here so this is very important again pictureization of installation of peripheral devices and graphic this is storage device hard drive is the main storage area of the computer all software is likely to be stored on it along with all the files so software doesn't mean only c++ or java or vb.net there is also operating system os software is also your applications softwares like microsoft office and uh, this is in, this all things are stored on hard disk even you install your os on the hard disk if hard disk is gone everything gone everything goes your all data will also lost so uh, hard disk is very important device and it is also called as a magnetic disk and the reason why it is called as a magnetic disk is given here a hard drive works in a similar method to the floppy disk data is stored by magnetizing sections of the disk creating a one uh, or not magnetizing sections creating a zero so this is called as a magnetic disk even in interview the question is asked to the it engineers that what is hard disk if uh, so the right answer a proper answer to answer this question is hard disk is a magnetic disk and that is right answer now here we are going to see steps in inserting the hard disk how the hard disk is inserted or installed place hard disk drive into the hard disk mounting slot of the case here you can see the case and uh, you need to mount your hard drive into this case ensure the ide or ata connector is facing outwards now ide or ata connector is the connectors many of the layman people or one who are beginners with no knowledge or with less knowledge they go on installing or keeping this side to the inward of the case so uh, if if you install your hard disk uh, how you are going to connect the connectors please make please make ensure that this side or connectors would be facing outward of the case then again you have to screw the hard disk check for the screw sections and properly screw the hard disk now this is ata 66 cable this is the connector between hard disk and motherboard here you can see the uh, hard disk connector uh, that is ata connectors you can see over here this is connected from ata to hard disk so connect it with the proper connectors and also make sure that connector is working okay working properly and it should not very old or even it should not very wetty cause even if the single drop of water is fall on the connector uh, it might lead to the short circuit so need to take care of it then also connect with your power supply to the hard disk these are the power supply pin connectors this is connected through power supply and that makes hard disk run so most new ide or ata cables are designed so that it will only go in one way which will correspond to pin 1 push the power cable into power connector as shown the power cable is designed to go in one way so you shouldn't have any problems connect the other end of the ata66 cable to the primary ata socket of your motherboard as shown ensure the pin 1 on the cable connects to the pin 1 on the ata socket so now this is ata's asynchronous transmission uh, you might have heard about sata you might have heard about pata so this is the pata that is parallel asynchronous transmission and sata is serial asynchronous transmission so this is need to connect in this fashion here you can see again connector from hard disk is connected to the motherboard so this is the section where the hard disk is connected this is ata connectors on the motherboard now we are we will look installation of cd rom or dvd rom so again in similar fashion with which we connect the hard disk we will also connect the cd rom so you can see the pictureization over here the similarly the electrical power supply is given to the cd rom and again the the id cable is connected to the cd rom and also to motherboard so these are the this is the process to connect the cd rom now this is the optical drive this is the cd rom 
Optical drive is a collective term for the CD drives, DVD drives, CD writer burners and DVD burners. All of these devices read information from an op optical disc which is different from magnetic media like floppy disks. So flash memory and cache memory. Now what is flash memory and cache memory? The flash memory is the non-volatile computer that can be electrically erased and reprogrammed. So uh, this is the memory which could be erased or reprogrammed or could be modified as per the requirement. It is a technology that is primarily used in memory cards and USB flash drives, thumb drive, handy drive, memory stick, flash stick, uh, jump drive for general storage and transfer of data between computers and other digital products. You can just read it as this is very informative thing on the theory part or just for your knowledge. See again here are shown popular flash memory devices. This are the flash memory devices made up of Sony company and of 64 MB memory stick it is called as a memory stick a memory stick is an IC integrated circuit which is stored in a compact and rugged plastic enclosure these are designed to store data and enable the transfer of data between devices equipped with memory stick slots so this is again just for a theoretical purpose this is compact flash compact flash card is an IC uh, which is stored in compact and rugged plastic enclosure Compact flash cards are designed to store data and to enable the transfer of data between devices equipped with compact flash slots. Current compact flash capacities range up to 8 GB. Here you have you are seeing the SanDisk company compact flash of 128 MB and you can find this compact flash up to 8 GB. Now this is SD card, secure digital card is again another IC. Uh, these are designed to store data and to enable the transfer of data between devices equipped with SD card slots. In current SD card capacities range up to 16 GB. Here you can see it's of 4 GB. Now this is MMC. MMC is one of the important IC multimedia card uh, which stores in compact and rugged plastic enclosure. Multimedia card cards are designed to store data and to enable the transfer of data between devices equipped with multimedia card MMC slots. Current multimedia card MMC capacities range up to 2 GB. Now cache memory. What is cache memory? This is the cache memory chip and it is used to store the data into the hard disk. The lots of communication happens between cache memory to hard disk. So cache memory is a special high speed mechanism. It can be either a reserved part of main memory or an independent high speed storage device. In personal computers, there are two types of caching are commonly used are memory caching and disk caching. A uh, memory cache, sometimes called a cache store or RAM cache, is a portion of memory made of high speed static RAM instead of slower and cheaper dynamic RAM used for main memory. Memory caching is effective because most programs access the same data or instructions over and over. By keeping as much of this information as possible in SRAM, the computer avoids accessing the slower DRAM. Some memory caches are built into the architecture of microprocessor. Now there are types of cache, L2 cache, L1 cache. This is again uh, you can go through it so that you can get idea of what is cache. 